Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, I'm going to be starting a new series that looks at miscellaneous topics. For this very first video, we are going to be focusing on the event that collapsed the volcano. Now, Volcano is a jagged earth spirit that is going to be released on Spirit Island Digital in hopefully a couple weeks. Now, Volcano is going to be a heavy offensive spirit doing lots of damage. And the way it's going to be doing that is via the special rule, Collapse in a Blast of Lava and Steam, as well as that Left Innate Explosive Eruption. Essentially, the play pattern of the spirit is you're going to be using your G2 and your G3 to add presence in your Volcano land. It is then going to use your Left Innate to um, destroy presence in that land. As, um, as if you hit the proper threshold and then it's going to do damage in one land within one range and that's this first tier and then of course you guys can see all the other tiers but essentially you're destroying presence to deal damage in an adjacent land and that innate is going to also do damage to Dahan now your collapse in a blast of lava and steam is going to do damage in the land you're destroying presence so essentially with your left innate and your special rule you'll be able to do damage into two adjacent lands. Now, both of these effects are going to be doing damage to Dahan, and it's going to be slaughtering those Dahan. You also have another card that destroys Dahan, and that is Pyroclastic Bombardment. This deals lots of damage to buildings, but also does damage to Dahan. Now, really cool little synergy here is if you pair Volcano up with the Spirit-like Hearth Vigil, and you have a presence with those Dahan, you can increase the health of those Dahan and possibly survive that eruption. But a lot of times that's not going to be the case. I've been rambling for a couple minutes now and I haven't really gotten to the point of the video. Um, so because you're doing damage to Dahan, you're going to get punished by events that benefit uh, or punished by events that talk about um, Dahan. So the very first one would be, um, actually it's this, this one here, Remnants of a Spirit's Heart. And it says at the very bottom, a thousand small struggles. It says on each board with four or more buildings and four or fewer Dahan, add a blight. So once again, if you're using that left innate and that special rule to kill Dahan, you might hit this threshold and this might cause an extra blight. Another card, such as the energy, boon, uh, the energy boosts off these events, offerings of story and season is one of them. There's offerings of pattern and dance. So these are going to be events that will give you energy or give you reclaims or give you um, uh, regains of forgotten powers um, if you have Dahan amongst your lands. Well, that's going to be really tough just because, like I said, killing Dahan, killing Dahan, killing Dahan. So it's going to be tough to keep those Dahan alive in your lands. Now, what's the point of this video? So I talked about two reasons why um, it, Volcano kind of gets the short end of the stick, but there's a big one. And this is an event that came out in the, the uh, Nature Incarnate expansion and is called An Ominous Dawn. But really, we're looking at that very bottom part here, and that's waning support. It says on each board with buildings and five or fewer to Han, destroy a presence. And three or fewer to Han, also add a blight. This is massive because losing a Dahan is very common on this spirit. To lose two to Han from a thousand small struggles, it's it's kind of rare but to lose one to Han happens almost all the time now combine that with the fact that you're also destroying presence to enable that left innate that means your presence count is going to get low so you might get edge cased and automatically lose the game for the whole team because of this card now there are ways to play around it. So first, it says on each board with buildings. So if your board has no buildings, this doesn't trigger. The second thing could be, it says just destroy a presence. So if you have another player on your board with presence, you can just have them destroy their presence and then you won't lose the game. So that's kind of how you can play around this card. Now, I'm making such a big deal about this is because this is the first event in the game that is forced presence destruction while you're still healthy. So what do I mean by that? Usually when you go Blighted, well, we're still healthy here, but when you flip this Blight card, that's going to be really that first way that you can start losing presence from an effect. In addition, there's a lot of events that will destroy presence, but you got to be Blighted for it, um, such as uh, Vibrance Fades here, or um, Essence Disperses. So you have to be Blighted to destroy presence. This is the first event that doesn't do that. It's just checking to Han. Now, there are a couple events 
that are in the game that if you don't have the nature incarnate expansion that kind of functions similarly where you, you have to destroy presence but these are choice events so you can always choose the other option you're not forced to so the struggles of growth uh you get to choose between destroying presence or forgetting a power card and then lesser spirits imperiled you get to choose top or bottom if you choose bottom you have to destroy a presence so both of these cards you get to choose ominous dawn with winning support you don't so this card um it ended up getting a lot of um I shouldn't say pushback. I think a lot of the playtesters, myself included, actually like this card because it punishes players that are very, very greedy, especially Volcano players and Fangs is another spirit that kind of gets punished by this. If you're not playing around it, if you're playing around it, you'll be fine. But um, it's just another like little event that um, increases the edge cases and then it allows you to play around. Um, another one that is very commonly talked about is Cultural ASIM, um, and that is um, one of my favorite events in the entire game just because of the mini games that it creates and it's actually pretty good for the spirits a lot of people they hate the card just because um it it could do some serious damage but it's just fun to always think about and try to maximize uh here it is as i go through all of the events here it is um it's it's a fun little event that if you're playing around it and trying to maximize it uh, at every moment in the game then it feels really good when you get rewarded for it so I hope you guys like this video. If you do, like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.